Hi guys, I'm Cassie from Feathered Out Creation and I'm going to show you how to select different stitches on your Babelock Soprano machine and also how the Babelock Soprano shows you which different foot to use on your machine so it makes it super super easy to decide which foot am I using and also I'm going to show you how, can, how you can use your knee in order to move your presser foot up and down. So this is our Babelock Soprano and up here we have one, two, three, four different sets of stitches. Here it shows us that we are on stitch selector three and here it's telling us that for this particular stitch the machine wants us or recommends that we should use the foot J. Now this is what foot J looks like, it's just your regular straight stitch foot that you're going to use. And we know it's foot J because right there, here, it says J. Your Baby Lux Soprano comes with a lot of stitches. This section here is your utility stitches. This section here is your first set of decorative stitches. This section here is a second set of decorative st stitches. And this section here is a third set of decorative stitches. So let me show you how to select different ones. So let's say that we want to choose from the first selection here. And let's say for this example, we are going to choose number 41. So in order to select the, this stitch, 41, this is what we have to do. So to get to our utility stitch, the number 41 that we just pointed to, we have to press this button here first. So you press that. And then you press 41. And then this is the stitch right here. So I'll just show you again at the screen. So if you look at what this looks like here, it matches this symbol right here. So if you notice our screen right now, it's telling us we've selected number 41 and it's now telling us here that we need to change our foot to N. So now let's select a stitch from the decorative stitch number one. Let's say that we want to choose this time number 50. So note that this is like a leaf and it says number one. So I come to my keypad and now I'm going to hit this button right here. So it's going to say OK to cancel current pattern selection. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's on the decorative stitch number one. And we said we we're going to choose 50. So we're just going to type 50 and then OK. And here we go. It's now telling us we're on stitch 50 of the decorative range number one. And we need foot N and this is what our design looks like. So let's choose from decorative range number two. Let's, for the sake of the example, let's choose number eight right here. So notice again, this is the decorative stitch with the leaves and it's number two. So we're back at our screen and we're gonna choose from our leaf again and we're gonna go to range number two. So here you go, it's at number two right here. And then we're gonna select eight and then okay. And this is now programmed to do decorative stitch number two. And this is what the design is going to look like. So let's now choose from decorative stitch number three. Exactly like the last two, um, let's for this one choose a number 15. It's really easy. Now you can see what we have to do. 
So we're back at our keypad. We're going to choose the leaves again and we're going to change it to number three. There we go. And then we're going to choose 15. And there we go. We've changed our stitches. So, so easy. You can also do lettering on your Baby Lock Soprano machine and you're going to have to reference the quick reference guide in order to know which letter of the alphabet you need to select in order to write a small word on your project. So if you flip to this manual, this quick reference guide, I'm going to show you example using page 17 of the character stitches. So when you quick reference guide, you'll notice that you've got uppercase as well as lowercase. Um, so for this example, I'm going to show you how to type the word hello. So we are going to need the capital H, which is number eight. So we're going to press this button here and it gets us to our first set of character stitching. And first of all, we want the capital H, which is the letter eight. So we're going to press eight and okay. And it's going to give us the capital H. Next, we'll use the small case E. For the lower case E was 31. So now we're going to press three, one, and now it gives us the lower case E. The small case L, for the lowercase L, it was 38, so we type 38, and we're going to do 38 again, and we've got the capital H, E, L, L, and the small case O, and the lowercase O is 41, and there we go. I'm going to show you how this looks on the piece of scrap. So next I want to show you how to use your knee controller in order to lift your presser foot, which is this guy, up and down. Now you're going to use this insert right here. Your machine came with this extra extension table for when you're doing quilting or if you want additional room for your sewing. Now on the reverse of this table is this thing right here, which is your knee razor. You're going to want to put your sewing machine quite to the edge of your sewing table and then you're going to get your knee lifter and you're going to push it in virtually straight in like this, vertical to the floor. And there you go, it's in. So what's gonna happen now is every time you move your knee to the right, it's gonna raise your presser foot up and down. So can you see how I'm just moving that to the right and your presser foot is going up and down as I do it. This is so you have more control of your presser foot, say if you're a quilter, this is going to be extremely handy to you. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that additional content on the Baby Lot Soprano sewing machine. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content that I'll be creating every single Wednesday. It's either going to be on the Baby Lot Soprano sewing machine, the Baby Lock Enlightened Serger, or it's going to be some easy how-to sewing videos. So, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe right now. See you Wednesday. Bye.